Hello and welcome back to Barrack Street Yard. In this episode we're going to cover the scene we work in and around the bridge area and I'll also talk you through the process I use in order to achieve this. Beginning in this section of the layout, the overall goal is to make the area look overgrown and disused. As you can see here, I begin with dabbing PVA on top of the already uh, laid groundwork. Uh, some of the details you can also see is I've included some ballast to give the impression that a, a railway line used to be there. From here I begin by removing the telegraph poles. They were only there as placeholders so I knew exactly where they were in relation to the ground cover I wanted to lay and then from there I begin with applying static grass. I'm using a mixed blend of autumn shade colours and dead grass uh, to give the appearance of the time of year and doing different measurements of 6 and 4 millimetres. And I continue going back and forth to make sure I have good overall coverage. The tip I have found useful is by shaking the applicator up and down that it helps draw the grass into a more upright position while you're applying it to an area. Once an area has dried I then hoover up the excess and collect it to be used again and then I repeat the steps until the area is completely covered. As I said already, this area is going to be very, very overgrown, so I just keep going back and forth with the applicator until I'm happy with the amount of static grass that I've applied. Using this bridge section here I'll demonstrate the steps I used in order to achieve what we did in the wastelands area. As you can see the area has been painted and weathered and I've added in some details such as ballast to give the impression of broken concrete. I begin by applying a thick layer of PVA glue over the surface area. As this is going to be the first layer, I want to make sure there's a good coverage of glue. Using a sieve, I begin spreading uh, soil, which has been drying over the last few days, over the glue. Using actual soil adds an extra layer of texture to your ground cover. Once happy with the coverage, I allow it to dry for 24 hours before hoovering up the excess and loose soil. Once all the excess soil had been hoovered up, I then reapplied another layer of PVA glue, a lot more patchy this time as I wanted the soil to break through in certain areas. Once happy with the area, I then went over it with green blended turf and this will form the base layer of the actual grass area itself.
Again, I allowed the area to dry for 24 hours before hoovering up any excess or any loose ground cover. And then again, just simply reapplying PVA glue to the area. Once happy with the coverage of the PVA glue, using the same blend of static grass as we used previously, we went over the area with the static grass applicator. Again, this area is going to be very overgrown, not maintained. Then once you're happy with the coverage, leaving for 24 hours for it to dry, and then coming back and hoovering up any excess. That concludes this episode of Barrack Street. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you will consider liking and subscribing for future content. Thank you.